Hey guys, Spencer Smith again for your second Vegas tutorial. Uh, this lesson is going to be covering color corrections and color balance and pretty much every program on this that uh, changes color. Uh, right here I have a clip from one of our movies, Tracer. This is, uh, this is the clip without the color correction on it. I'm going to show you how to make the color corrections and then run them back to back to show you the, the difference that it actually makes and then some of the other things that you can do. Okay, so here's the clip. Keep in mind, this is zero color correction. Okay, after that, the way the, there's a couple ways you can put color corrections. You go into the video effects, which I'm already at, scroll down until you find color correction. Now, all these pictures with the eyes, these are different kinds of um, templates that you can put on. There's, you can highlight the blues, you can highlight mid-tones, and, and the background tones, the darker tones. Now, to put on, it's simple drag and drop to the clip. And you see there's a little bit of, di of a difference. On the top left corner, it shows you the checked box. If you click on that, you can turn it on and off. So click on the box and you can see a slight difference. So this is the difference that it made because we changed the high the highlights. We changed it blue. So if I don't like that, if I think it's too blue or whatever or whatnot, I can put it back to where it was, change the kind of blue on how much. You can go into the mid-tones, change that and some of the darks. See, I like that one. If let's say if, if you like this one a lot and you want to change it to or apply it to all your other clips you can change the name of it it's untitled right now I'm gonna call it cold okay once you go to cold hit save now when you go into the other ones you can either find it at the bottom of here or you can click on it from here click on the empty box and this is your these are your choices uh, it's the same thing this is in a different a folder and different sorting. So go up here to color corrector again, hit add, okay, and it's here. You can go down on here and go to cold, and you have the same the same color correction. Now, sometimes if you have too much background, I had uh, trouble with this editing. Um, go to color corrector, add, okay, like last time. Um, I tried to get it even bluer just because the background and naturally the scene was really red and I brought it down but it just didn't look right. You can you can go into your video effects again at the very uh, top right this time. It gives you this screen once again. You can go to color balance, click add OK. So now you have your color correcting and you just added the color balance. Color balance you can take the red, blues and greens. It's um, you can go. You can change the shadows, midtones, highlights. Uh, midtones is what um, is usually the problem. If I thought there was too much red in here, I can bring down the red, and that brings out more of everything else. Or you know, put more red. Um, also, type it in here. Your standard is zero. That's the, where it. That's the normal. I can bring down the red, and if I think, okay, now that's too much green. Now, take a little bit of the green, and I like. I like that. So let's keep that as such. Uh, so I'm gonna go to every every other file and add color correction and the template that I made cold. So again, here all the way down to cold, and you don't have to click OK. It's just automatically there. And I'll just drag and drop to all of them. Okay, see, now let me play a clip for you. Um, the difference is quite large. Uh, I'll play this clip and it's with the color correction, right? Without. 
it really sets the mood uh, for your films. Um, okay. And there's a lot of other things. Let's say um, if you really want a different feel for the film, if you want it to be more dramatic, if you want the colors more dramatic, because the colors don't change the intensity or the dynamics of it. It just changes the, the um, what the hue is. Okay, uh, you can go to, um, where is it? Color curves. Uh, I love this. Really, this is like the best invention ever made. Um, I'm gonna add everything else. So I have a color corrector and color curves. Okay, color curves. Uh, I'm gonna add my regular cold because I want it to somewhat same feel. Um, these lines right here, this is your dark, this is how, uh, how bright your whites are and how dark your darks are. Um, it gives you the gradient right here. Uh, here's the darks and the lights. If you want your darks more dark, you put them toward the light. Another cool thing, uh, just if you watch the first tutorial, you have um, the timeline again, which you can put these in whatever arrangement that you want, and you can put down uh, dots again, and you can have the color curves change as the scene goes by. Let's say you want an, uh, like a, let's say an interesting fade in like this to, to a normal. I mean, that might be something you'd want to do. Um, so really mess around with this. There's a, other, another thing you can do and you can change the individual color. Uh, go to the, go to channel. If you click on red, um, that, that, yeah, go to channel, click on red. Now you're working with the reds only. So if you want less red or more red, okay. If you want less of the high red, you get the bump right here. This takes out the high red. If you want let more of the low red, you move the bump here. So you have less high reds than you do low reds. Okay, uh, very simple. You can do that to every color. This can really, now I know this doesn't look good, but I'm just showing you kind of what you can do to give just kind of, uh, of an eerie feel. Okay. So if you can put all these together in a scene, um, another thing, there's no uh, limit to what, how many attributes you can put on or any, how many color. All these can be put on the same clip. So mess around, you can see what you want um, want to do. But yeah, when it comes to color, this is this is it. Now let's say I'm gonna give you one more example. This clip right here, I have a lot of background shine, and then when I finally turn, it gets. It gets dark to here. Okay, if I want to, one clip. If I want to change my color throughout the scene, I can use the timeline. Uh, if I want it more blue here, if I want it more blue here, I can change it here. And if I want it, I can add the point. And then if I want it to to turn to red after, more of a red look. Now I have my color moving around the color wheel and it circulates this way. So it, it's gonna keep your, um, your hue right. So blue to red, you can see that. Um, that's, that's pretty much it for color correction. Um, I hope you enjoyed, uh, any questions? comment I'll try to clear it up for you um, here's the final look at the color corrected version of this clip